Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Recommended Setups and today I'm going to be covering the Cerberus. So there's going to be three builds I'm going to focus on in today's video for this robot and uh, hopefully you guys have the weapons. If not, at least you know what to build towards and I get to save you some resources. And uh, also if you have you know other builds which you've tested in Champion League especially, let me know in the comment section down below and uh, this way I can learn from you as well as uh, you know other viewers and uh, yeah so before we get started here if you are new to the channel consider subscribing if you haven't already and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a thumbs up and uh, one more thing if you happen to miss my playlist uh, definitely check it out because I have covered uh, things like the shell the Fenrir the Blitz uh, not sure about the Demeter I don't think I've done that yet but I have done like the Aljung the Ares and stuff so make sure to check it out but uh, yeah let's take a look at the first build the Ember with Igniters so we're going to start off with the Ember Igniter build um, or the Flamethrower build. Um, I do have Fortifier which is uh, used to strengthen the Aegis shield of this robot. We have Last Stand, Advanced Repair which is tied to my drone chips. Um, if you have trouble like aiming with these weapons I would use Lockdown Ammo uh, which is this module over here. That way you can kind of lock the, uh, the enemy down and then flame them up. Um, in terms of the pilot, so I actually like this pilot for this build. Um, it says here after activating its ability the Cerberus damage is increased for five seconds so that's actually uh, quite a bit um, I would also focus on crazy electrician energy shield expert uh, roadhog and uh, also armor expert uh, these two are kind of tied to my advanced repair and I also have adamant roadhog so those are the skills I would use and um, in terms of the drone chips I want to say you should probably focus on um, especially the uh, square chips because remember you are getting closer so you need that resistance so you can see what I have here revitalizing defender and uh, two recurrent emergency defenders and then we have some healing chips as well so this one here and uh, also this one over here but I think uh, you know the squares um, especially or even uh, having something like lockdown or suppressor chips could help with this kind of build uh, but yeah that's pretty much what I would run uh, let's jump into some gameplay now of this build and uh, you guys can see uh, you know the Cerberus with the uh, flamethrowers in action I was uh, actually watching this player and I believe that is a shell okay so he does have um, he has face here but I don't know if that's gonna actually work here so I'm trying to keep my distance and let the flames uh, do the work. Although I think I should have put lockdown ammo on this thing. I think that would have helped a lot. So uh, there we go. We have locked that guy down. Um, trying to get this player here. It looks like we're going to have another player here with a shell. I think he's kind of hesitant because we have flames. He might try to run through this side. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my distance here. If I can break that shield, then I can use my uh, blackout. But he is actually taking on quite a bit of damage. Let's see what he does next. He might, uh, he might go this way. I'm trying to see if I can perhaps get some flames on him. Let's try again, because I think his shield is broken. There we go. So we kind of forced him to use his uh, his phase shift. I'm going to use my blackout ability now. Let's get him with that. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to have a couple of players here. Moving into uh, the center. Let's try to... Oh, man. Totally missed this guy. But I'm trying to get him from this angle. Um, holy crap, I'm roasting him up. Okay, he's down to his last stand. Let's try to see if we can perhaps... Uh, oh, wait. We have a couple of players on this side here too. I'm uh, waiting to see if I can perhaps lock, uh, you know, one of these players here. Let's try to get this Ravana. And we actually have a lot of players moving in towards center. Let's see how this actually does here. Um, have to watch out for this uh, shell. But these weapons are very effective against this shell. So I am burning him up. And we're going to get him soon. This guy we have to watch out for. 
So I'm trying to escape this guy. <laughs> He's chasing me. Oh! <laughs> so I'm trying to lure him around the corner. So this way we can actually get some damage in on him because I'm almost down to my last stand here. Yeah, he's he's kind of uh, he's kind of <laughs> getting hesitant to chase me. So let's try to see if we can perhaps uh, get him. Let's try to get him with that. There we go. And this guy. I'm uh, just waiting here. Uh, we need to have our ability uh, ready first. Let's try to get him with that. There we go. Okay, so the next build we're going to take a look at here is a medium range build, uh, the Hornet and the Wasp. And in terms of the modules, I would use Fortifier Last Stand, pretty much the same as the last build. Um, Advanced Repairs tied to my drone chips, which I'm going to show you in a bit. And uh, for this kind of build, you want this pilot because uh, the Alexander Frost pilot extends the uh, built-in weapon range from 350 meters to 500 meters and it just pairs better with the Hornet and the Wasp which has a range of 600 meters. Now in terms of the pilot skills that I would focus on you know for this build armor expert, crazy electrician, uh, roadhog, energy shield expert I think those are the main ones. I do have destroyer here which is nice to have but I think the others uh, should actually come first um, but yeah in terms of the drone let's take a look at that quickly. Uh, because it is actually uh, different from the other one. So for this, I would use uh, anything like revitalizing intensifiers or even modulative intensifiers because that's going to help you amplify that damage every time you use uh, things like advanced repair or repair unit, uh, possibly even death mark, um, lockdown ammo. You know, those are the modules or at least the uh, drone chips you want to use uh, for this kind of setup. So uh, having uh, you know gone through all of that, uh, we're going to jump into some gameplay now so that you guys can see just how effective this build is, um, especially on open maps. Uh, we have a couple of players back there, 700 meters. You know what? They might actually have range too. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy has range. Let's try to see if we can take him out. And there we go. So you can see, very effective. I think that was a Typhon. Okay, let's, uh, let's move this way. And I'm going to try to lock this guy in place. Let's amplify that damage. Oh, he blinked, but I can still get him. And I think that corrosion might be enough to take him out. There we go. Um... Try to hit that one player before he went into uh, flight there. I think this guy is going to move down. Or oh, he's thinking about it. This one player. We have another player moving to the uh, right side here. Okay, so we have to be careful of a player like this because... You don't want to get uh, too close. Because I still have to break his uh, shield here. And I did use my uh, blackout ability on him. There's another player actually moving to that side once again. So uh, let's try to get this guy. And if we can get that player. Okay, I'm just going to reload quick. Checking my uh, left flank. And... Oh! <laughs> I tried to see if I could get this guy on lock. But I should be able to finish him off. And there we go. And you know, this kind of build is actually very effective even against Titans. Let's try to get that uh, Hawk. I have to be careful if there's any kind of Scorpion here. That could be a bit of a problem. Um, I think he's going to make... Oh, wait. Speaking of scorpions. Let's try to get this guy. That corrosion might be enough to take him out. There we go. And can we get this guy? I'm 
Trying to see if I can maybe catch one of these players. And I think I might be able to get this guy. That corrosion is definitely going to get him. There we go. Nice. And uh, that corrosion might be enough to actually kill him. There we go. So we have a Typhon over here. And someone else is moving in on this side. So let's try to lock that guy down. Let's take this guy out. There we go. And this guy as well. We have to uh, be careful. They have a Demeter back there. Let's try to lock this guy in place. Let's use that. Oh my gosh, his health. That corrosion. Oh, I was going to say that corrosion is probably going to finish him off, but he used phase shift. Um, this guy's actually getting pretty close. What is this guy in? Okay, so we have a we have an Ao Jung here. I'm gonna finish this guy off. And this guy. I think I did lock him. Nope, we didn't. <laughs> I thought I locked him down. Okay, so we have a player moving to that left side. We have to watch out for uh, that guy. This guy's corner shooting me. Uh, we have a scorpion here. I'm trying to see if I can take out the scorpion. Here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, one of the things you have to be very careful of is uh, shells. Gonna try to break this guy's uh, shield. And I think I broke it. Let some of that corrosion uh, settle in there. Let's uh, use our ability. I think that's gonna that's gonna be enough, I think. That corrosion. Yep, there we go. Okay, so the last build we're gonna look at here is the Redeemer Turan build. Now um, I would recommend this as like my last option because these weapons actually don't do well against physical shields. Uh, so if you are seeing like a lot of shells, um, I would actually go with the uh, Ember Igniter build. Uh, but we do have Fortifier Last Stand on here, Advanced Repair which is tied to my drone chips. Um, another option could be Phase Shift. Um, pretty much the same pilot skills as the Igniter build. Okay. And uh, the drone I'm using for this is the exact same one as the Igniter build. So uh, yeah, let's jump into some gameplay here so that you guys can see this uh, in action. So it's kind of scorpion or something, not sure. Yeah. Uh, oh, hold on. Okay, let's get this player. Oh, come on. There was a shield there, but at least we got this beacon. Let's see if we can try to take out uh, this Ravana. Trying to get him to use his ability here because that's going to force him to run out of, um, you know, his ability. You also have this guy. So I have locked that Demeter down. Trying to uh, target this guy. Don't know if I can get him. I'm down to my last stand. Maybe. I think I got him. There we go. We got him with the ability too. Nice. I'm trying to keep my uh, distance here from that Demeter. And I was able to take out actually both of them. So really lucky there. You also have a Blitz. What if I can get him? Maybe. Maybe with that Corrosion perhaps. There we go. Three kills. Not bad. Okay, so they do have a player going to the center here. I might be able to actually lock this guy down. Actually, wait. He already got locked. Okay, so I'm going to save. Um, I believe this might be a leech or something here. So we have to be careful of this guy. So he's now down to uh, his last and He did leech onto me. Might be able to kill him here, actually. 
And this guy's doing a lot of damage to me. I think we can actually uh, take out... Oh, man. Just as I fired. Looks like he has a couple of cloaking units on that thing. Let's try to take out this player. That corrosion should do the job. Let's try to take him out. And there we go. Okay, so we're dealing with a hawk here. You know what I can do is I can lock him uh, in place. That might be enough to actually uh, take him out with. We do this. Oh. So you can see my last stand uh, was triggered. There we go. Oh, man. My health. Okay, so we are dealing with another hawk here. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's gonna run out of ability. Okay, so I did, I did get him, but I think he might actually kill me here. I'm trying to get to a cover. Oh, he locked me. 